today I'm gonna do a lemon challenge and uh, I'm gonna do a lemon challenge for cancer patient like me so to everyone who does not know yet uh, about me I have stage 4 breast cancer and the type of cancer that I have is a lobular breast cancer that is already spread in my bone like my sternum my pelvic my shoulder blade and it's a metastatic type of cancer and where does I get this cancer so it was 2016 when I gave birth to a beautiful baby and after that there is no changes that happen in me I mean I never produce any milk at all so it scares me it scares me to death that um, I never produce any milk for my daughter and at the same time it scares me that I have a feeling at the time that there is something wrong in my body that I it need to be addressed so after six months of giving birth we went I went to my ob to be checked but my ob said that uh, all of the changes that happening in my body at that moment is associated that I gave birth and they never they're not able to detect that there is something wrong already at my body so it was around june of 2017 i really felt that there is a tremendous change in my body that really need to be addressed and need to be checked so i went back to my ob and at that time my ob gave a transcript that I need to undergo um, ultrasound I need to undergo mammogram and I need to undergo a biopsy so um, in one day I had three um, medical appointments so in the mammogram they never see much but when the biopsy came that's the time um, they figure out that there is a cancer cells form inside my body and uh, within that week we i undergo the mri the ct scan the bone scan all the scans that really need and in the bone bone scan that's the time that the, doc the doctor figure out that my cancer is already stage four so when we're in the in the clinic me and my husband really cried because the first thing we um, think is about my daughter. <laughs> Sorry. But I said, I really need to get well. I really, I really want to take all the chances. So after all the, the scan and all the, all the um, diagnosis, we asked a second opinion from the other, um, from the other, clinic from the other hospital we went to the Penn medicine hospital and their diagnosis are the same so i said what we're gonna do i don't have family here and mostly it's just our friends who's helping us and my husband's family is far also but they they, the moment they, they found out that I, I have cancer, they reached out to us. And right away, the doctor started the chemo session. I started with the hormone um, injection. They injected in my stomach. And I started also with my bone, in, bone injection. So I'm having two injections every month. So, and every week, we... I need to be checked because my my blood need to be checked if it's not uh, going down. So after the after the after they put me to pre menopause, that's the that's the start of they gave me the other form of chemo in which it is 
the oral chemotherapy, I'm taking Airbrush and Famara every day. And it's really changed our lives because the stress and the fatigue from the chemo itself, it's so hard to manage each day. Especially I have a daughter, we have a daughter to look out and it's just me and my husband. So, but what I always think is there's a lot of people that love and and they're for us so i i'm so brave enough to to manage the the treatment so every three months i need to undergo scan bone scan pet scan mri and whole body scan in which this this coming september we are really hoping that it will give us much um positive um and it will give us much hope, more hope for me to to fight each day that uh, in time come, in, in God's time, that I will fully heal. And the type of the lobular carcinoma ca uh, is, a, is something that it's so hard to treat. And it's um, the lobular carcinoma is a breast cancer type that is invasive and it are it's occur in the areas in which the breast um produce milk so to every mother i encourage you that uh when you give birth please try really hard to produce milk for your for your for your um for your baby because in the end we are the one who's gonna suffer also so as much as i did all that all the all the things that i really need to do to produce the milk i'm really not able to produce i underwent also the i asked also for the help of the lactation nurse but it really does not um um uh, i never really produce so to every mother please um try very hard eat a lot of healthy food eat a uh, low those uh green leafy food so that you can purchase milk for your for your daughter because it's really hard when when the mother becomes sick and you have a daughter to look at also or you have a son to watch and um it's so hard also to manage of the man to manage the stress it's like our partner will be devastated also but um and the way I manage all the stress and the fatigue from all this treatment and all the problems that come in our lives is by expressing myself in art. I know how to paint before, but when I was diagnosed with cancer, I need to find an outlet on how I can um forget for a moment that I have a disease like this so I love learning I love watching everyone's art and I enjoy that I learn something new so I'm following a lot of artists from YouTube I'm watching every tutorial that I'm interested and by expressing myself into art it make me happy at the same time i create a lot of work i create a paintings that it's for me it's impossible but i did so i'm gonna do a lemon challenge to ev dedicating this to all the cancer patient and to everyone that's suffering from the disease that um i want you to be strong i want you not to give up because life is so beautiful we need to uh, cherish every single day. We need to say to every person that, that close to our heart that we love them, that we care for them, and they are our, they will serve as our motivation and inspiration to fight. So I never do this. I never, I, I like eating lemon, but I never eat the what they call it the skin of it but i i sometimes i shred it 
lemon is really good. Re lemon is really good in our body, especially during morning. What I did every morning is um, I boil a water and I put uh, three or four slices of water as my water when I get up. So it's really clean our system. It, it help our our body to detoxify all the chemicals or all from from what we eat so it's important that um we are also eating healthy eating um organic food like veggies fruits and avoiding too much uh, junk food is very important. So I'm eating the, the whole stuff, but I need to remove the seed because I cannot eat the seed. And it's not good if we eat the seed of the lemon. It will stuck in our stomach. So this coming September 1, I'm gonna, I need to undergo a um, whole body scan and I'm asking your prayers and your, su your support and love as I face this uh, battle. So we are hoping that the result of the coming scan will give us more and positive outlook because last of April 2018, when they did uh, my scan, we are so happy because on the right side of my breast, there is no more trace of cancer. And on the left side of my breast, it's starting to s getting smaller. Although the, the cancer is in, my dif in different part of my bones are still there, but knowing that the the medicine are working in my body it make us happy and i know it's gonna be a long treatment for me but i have a good faith and never stop praying to god that for god to give me a long life so that i can see my daughter grow that i can be with my husband longer and for me also to, to travel to philippines and visit my parents because i really miss my mom i'm a mother i'm um mama's girls so i really miss my mom aside from that aside from i'm i'm eating lemon i'm also making a bit smoothie so i always mix the beets carrots apple honey and a ginger and a lemon so every day I'm a drink also a bit smoothie to help my immune system because my white blood count it's really low sorry guys I'm chewing but I want to share to you guys what I experience each day And aside from that, I'm also drinking a barley. So uh, barley is something that will help also the immune to um, to get high. Because last time, my white, uh, my white blood count, since the treatment, since the chemo treatment started, it dropped to 2.5. The very highest is 2.9. And I need to be careful also to be uh, outside the house because I am prone to cold, flu, or whatever uh, disease and sickness, sickness that I can get from outside. Sorry guys, I need to get a tissue. So to every cancer patient, please don't give up. 
I know the treatment itself is very difficult. But we need to be positive also. We need to avoid to get stressed. Because stress is the number one enemy of any sickness. Once we are stressed, our mind, our body react on it. And when our body react, the more it's so hard for us to face the, the treatment. It's so hard for us to fight the disease. So we need to live healthy also. Even we're, we're sick people, even we are suffering from different kind of the disease, we need to make an effort also not to get stressed. I know that sometimes people around us will stress out, will give us stress. And also in our house, uh, we can get a lot of stress in the house, especially if there's a lot of problem, like financial problem, um, if our partner have problem in the in the in their in their job, but we need to be strong. It's I kn I know what you feel, guys, but me, I always keep my heads up and I always think positive, because who's not who's aside from the treatment and from the payers, ourself is our best friend dealing this kind of disease. So I need to bite. This one is really bitter. My my daughter Mika, she love eating lemon also and I'm so proud of her because she love eating fruits. She love eating veggies and she love eating lemon. She like drinking orange juice. So I'm really proud of her. Oh my god. I like eating lemon, but when you chew it, it's like including the this the the skin of it. It's the taste is different. And this lemon is this lemon is organic. So, aside from that, I'm very thankful that there is a lot of church community that reaching is out, reaching out to us and helping us in in our spiritual aspect. Because you know, guys, that um, if we just have faith to God, everything will be packed. Everything will be alright. Everything will be um in their own um what do you call that everything will be smooth so i have a strong belief i have strong faith to god maybe that's the reason that even i'm suffering from the, from this kind of disease you may not see me that i'm sick because i love to smile i like i love i like to love and i love talking to people so i am not afraid to share my to share myself to them because sometimes you really, you really need to let go of what inside to your body because sometimes people that have heart of listening it make you feel much better and you will know you will learn also from them so you might not uh you might wonder why i'm not losing the hair so the type of chemo that i'm taking is chemo oral chemo um i'm taking the high dose of chemo pills in which it is the iron so i'm ha i'm taking the 100 milligram of iron and the famara so i'm i'm taking it together that's why i still have hair i'm not losing hair but if you're taking the the other type of chemo the chemo fluid those are the type of chemo that will really make you sick and you will lose your hair and it mostly the cancer patient is taking that kind of chemo for for six months it's a long type of treatment then after that when you undergo the chemo that kind of chemotherapy 
that's the time that, that, that they will do the procedure of removing whatever cancers you have in your body. But in my type of cancer, so um, they started to remove my ovary. So like three weeks ago, I underwent a laparoscopic bilateral surgery in which the type of cancer that I have, it is feeding on the estrogen. And because lobular carcinoma type of breast cancer is feeding in the estrogen in which our ovary is the main producer of estrogen, they need to cut off the main source of food for the cancer to get um, um, hungry. I mean, because if, if there is a source of food, the cancer is like they are celebrating each day because and the more it will um, spread in our body so they took out my ovary so I'm not I, I cannot bear any child anymore but we are very blessed that God gave us a, pre a little one before it happened to me and we are very much open to adopt a kid in the future and to give a kid uh, that kid a bright uh, a better um future a better place a better home and we will love that kid as our own also so this is my story guys and i know that every one of you are does not know yet my story because you may see me that i'm doing a lot of paintings but paintings serve as the therapy for me to cope up and, and manage the the this cancer this disease that i have and i want to give an information also an awareness to everyone that um we need to keep healthy do an exercise if you can you don't need to go to the gym to do an exercise it's like even just you're walking around your your um in your garden or you just doing some push-up it will really help also especially if you're dealing with 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 cancer we need to make sure that we are um helping ourselves also and always eat healthy um if you can avoid uh because it's so hard once you get sick the you when you get sick and you're that's the time you will think why did i do that kind of stuff because if you can avoid not uh smoking please do avoid smoking if you're alcoholic please lower your alcohol level and just keep healthy and eat healthy and always have time to sleep because sleep is really help it's it's very important also for us to be protected productive in in our daily life and to everyone that uh always sending their prayers to me even you i don't know you guys my heartful thank you to all of you and i met a lot of people's through chat through through youtube and even i don't know you in person i feel so blessed i feel it makes me happy that um i met you guys and I never forget all those kind words that you have shared to me. And to everyone, please um, love one another. It is very important that we love each other. So I'm going to do the last bite of my lemon. And to everyone, I encourage you to do a lemon challenge for cancer patient and to everyone who is suffering from any type of disease this is and i know it is so hard i know it's so difficult but we can win this kind of battle just be positive be prayerful and love yourself because once you love yourself it will be so easy to face different challenges it's so easy for us to carry all the burdens and all the problems that in our life i hope i inspire you guys just do whatever you want keep creating keep um exploring so thank you so much to everyone who never stopped watching all my tutorial my youtube tutorial 
to everyone that always give positive feedback about all my paintings. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. And may God bless you all. I hope you inspired to my stories and I'll be happy to help in any way I can. And I'll be happy to answer all your questions. And keep smiling. Love you guys.